There's nothing more delightful than having a sumptuous meal in the comforts of your own home. The privacy of intimate conversation, the luxury of languidly taking your time to start and end a meal, to linger till the wee hours of the morning chatting away with friends and family. But with all the hectic preparation and pots and pans left to clean up, most times it's a strenuous affair. I have to say, this is the best balakpanir I've had. Hence the concept of private dining. For an evening, you can kick off your shoes and let someone else take over. And cheers to everyone. One of the most exciting concepts to hit the Philippine culinary scene in the past few years is this, private dining. What is private dining? It's when a very famous celebrity chef opens his or her doors, not to the public, but to a small, select few for a private event for one night only. And it can be you, your family, and your friends. It's like having your own private restaurant and one of the best restaurants in the country at that. This is the part I've been really wanting. Yes, I love it. India. I'm Spanky Enriquez, and I've been vlogging about food for 10 years. I also write for the Philippine Star's Let's Eat magazine, and this time, we're going to TV. I really love food, and how can I not? I'm Stephanie Zubiri Crespi, food, travel, and lifestyle journalist with an insatiable hunger for life and all the deliciousness it has to offer. I love the stories behind the plate and produce. Join us as we dig deeper into the stories and into the dishes. Let's eat! Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Eat. Today's a really special one. It's all about entering the home and the heart of somebody who loves to cook and they welcome you just like family, right Spanky? It's uh, something completely different. We've run across all of Metro Manila's great restaurants, but today we've got something even more special. Yes, it's so not just Steph, it's not just me, but... Yeah, we got Cheryl! Finally! We're so Finally happy we to have her! Finally we have her! I know, she's awesome. So one awesome. and only, Cheryl Chu from Philippine Star. <laughs> Alright, so Cheryl, can you tell us a little bit more about what we're going to expect to eat here right now? So Happy is basically my tita because she's married to my dad's youngest brother. Okay. And then what she does is she has catering events and then today she's going to show us her private dining which is a new concept mm. that she's launching. That's fantastic and this is all about private dining. So whether it's in the comforts of your own home, in a specialized setting, or in someone else's home, which we'll see later. So, so this is Let's Eat, the home invasion episode starting. That's a good Stephanie idea. Show. All right, let's, let's eat. eat. <laughs> Ding dong. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. Hey, Abby. Welcome. Hi. Happy Ong Pao Kut Yu comes from a line of revered Hi. Filipino culinary legends. Her grandmother founded Barrio Fiesta, that iconic chain of Filipino restaurants famous for its kare, -kare. Her dad, Rodong Pauco, invented the crispy pata. So it's no surprise that Happy herself is blazing new trails in Filipino cuisine. Welcome to her private dining. Welcome to Happy's house. So, so where are we gonna start? Okay. This looks fantastic. So, oh, hello. Hi. Oh, this is my Hi. friend Alana. Of course, I know Alana. Yes. <laughs> she's Alana? my she's my partner at the boutique bed and breakfast in Tagaytay. So and a childhood friend. And she's an well. official taste tester. Yeah, she eats okay. my food all the time. What's <laughs> good, Okay. So, um, what I did for today, I'm showcasing different themes. Because okay. normally when I host, it depends on the theme. Yeah. yeah. So it, it like this one is my Spanish tapas. Theme. Yeah, I have this cochinillo yeah. and the paella, okay. and this is Iberian chicken. It looks delicious. Um, the callos and the mashumala pobre, um, some so angulas yes. that Sharon loves. Yeah. And then all like different tapas. This, looks this so is a gambas. Um, when I make gambas, I use the head of the shrimp okay. for the sauce. Of course, it, yeah. the best it has part. To be that, the best part, yeah. the tastiest yeah. part. It's one thing to have the dishes, but the way you present it makes True. a big difference, True. right? Yeah. I what should we I'll start see. with, Alana? Okay. Um, you can see them. I, I've seen that there's yeah. already a hole here. I don't think a hole. Okay. Can, I get yeah. a hole? can we just use our hands? Yeah. 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 Go ahead. I wanted that part. So you can okay. hear the crunch. So it's yeah. super crunchy. Yeah. Yeah. This cochinillo was taught to me by a good friend from mm -hmm. Singapore. He okay. owns a Spanish restaurant in Singapore. So it's the authentic 
Kuchinibor. So this will be available for private dining, yes. not here in your house. Uh, but not you can, in my house. You can bring the whole setup, yes. okay? Basically, that's it. So whenever I travel, mm -hmm. I make it a point to bring the whole culture back home. Okay. So not only the food, not only the taste of the dishes, but, but how the they feel. present it as well. Yeah, because, because you know, that's a big part mm -hmm. of eating. Exactly. You know, what? Yeah. dating is a good way to, to share to each share. other's experiences. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I hate these like spreads where you have lasagna and then pancit exactly. and then kaya is not. You know, like, yeah. it has a lechon and yeah. then like some yeah. other random yeah. like yeah. California Mackie. Uh -huh. it, like, yeah. it has to be it bothers me I mean, so For much. you to really yeah. enjoy the, the the dish, I mean, okay. or the cuisine, mm -hmm. it has to be cleaned up. Mm -hmm. I agree. So, and, and not uh, only that, but you have to present it the right, right way. So can you tell us a little bit more about each dish? So right here is, what is um, this? This is the gamberet. This one, when I make this, I found the head of the shrimp. I don't just saute the head, but I make it a point to, you know, get all the juices. I love that. I mean, this is my, the okay. Iberian chicken. You have to try that. We um, slow cook it in the oven. Okay, so I'm going to try this Iberian chicken. This I looks so good. When you have your private dining, it can be in my house, mm -hmm. and it can be for five people. Yes, yes. And um, do you, have, you bring your service with you? I bring, my, right? I bring everyone. I bring okay. the chef with everyone. me. Everyone. So it's everyone. painless. It's, it's like you exactly. literally stay at home. Yes. And okay. and also, fun. that's why mm -hmm. I... I, I may have bigger buffets or I have carts mm. if it's a small group. So I, I have many cart buffets to, you know, just to um, lay the whole theme. I have to yeah. say, this chicken is really good. I know, the flavor is intense. It's so good. That's so good. It's so good. How long do you cook this? Uh, actually, the secret is the, to marinate it mm. for a long time. So you can't just marinate it right. overnight. You need to do it at least three days to infuse <laughs> all the garlic. Yes. And it and has, has to be in the berry. it has to be in the chiller. All the herbs I found it. So before yes, it's cooking it, you have to pound everything. That's so all the flavors really come up. It's the secret of Happy's kitchen. She's no, just pounding so everything. Good. Pounding everything. So. Cause it's where all the flavors come from. With Happy and me. Usually, because like, we, we think, you know, like we brainstorm mm -hmm. and we do create. Mm -hmm. She's very creative. Ever since she yeah. likes, yeah, the creating part is, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and then, she's my marketing because yeah. I'm not really always out there. And I think our next theme, yeah, is, uh, from theme. Europe all the way to incredible India. India, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the part I've been really wanting. Yes, I love India. India.